Hey, I'm MetaGrossRake, and today we're taking a look at Transformer Cyber Battalion Jetfire. Cyber Battalion is a line that is a uh, Wool Greens exclusive. The figures are the size of Voyager class figures. The they cost as much as a Deluxe class, and they have the posability and transformation complexity of a Legends class. So, compared to your other Voyager sized figures, the uh, engineering might be a little disappointing here, but they still have some pretty decent sized figures. Um, I've seen a bunch of Bumblebees, Optimuses, uh, Sideswipe, Prowl, um, but recently Jetfire and Shockwave have come out. I definitely want to get Shockwave, and I saw Jetfire, I at least I saw videos of Jetfire, and I wanted to pick them up for my own. We've got some nice Gen 1 artwork, or Gen 1 styled artwork. Uh, Image on the side, bigger picture jet fire, the literal same poses, um, and just like a deluxe class, or at least a, uh, a warrior class, the instructions are on the back, and he transforms in eight steps. We have jet fire in robot mode, and uh, he's he's rocking a nice kind of pearlescent white. I don't know how well the light shows it, but he's he's white, but he has kind of a pinkish pearl undertone to it. It's kind of an interesting coloration to the plastic. Um, of course, he also has very classic Jetfire uh, red, blue for the visor, silver for the mouth, blue for the cockpit, um, and then black for the feet slash thrusters. You can see there's just thrusters he has on his ankles. And then for accessories, he comes with these two actually fairly decent molded blasters. Um, I'm actually kind of a fan of this. It's really neat. Uh, he can hold them either in his hands or he can go the seeker route and mount them on his arms. Should be able to. Yeah, he can kind of mount them on his arms. Um, and he also has ports on his back. Um, I'd say considering he's the price of a deluxe, but we're getting a warrior, excuse me, uh, he's the price of a deluxe, but we're getting a Voyager size figure, I think he's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the character of Jetfire. And uh, just for comparison, here he is with a recent red and white Jetformer. Here he is with Generations Alita 1. You can see he's actually just a little bit taller than her. Um, with a little less kibble, considering his cockpit folds in instead of onto her back. Very nice. Here's Jetfire in jet mode. Um, he's decent. I kind of like the robot mode more. But uh, yeah, here he is in jet mode. He's got a, a vo good Voyager-sized jet. Um, he has a deployable landing gear in the nose that uh, can fold up, though it operates on the same ninja, uh, hinge excuse me, as the nose cone, which also means that the nose cone is a little floppy. But uh, he also has molded, I didn't realize this before, but he has molded landing gear on his knees. You can see there's little wheels where his knees are supposed to be over here. And uh, yeah, his, uh, his feet, his clearly visible robot feet, touch the ground when he's uh, landed or at least his heels do, so uh, that's not amazing. And when you look on the other underside, you just see a face and arms and broken ankles and a very empty robot void, though I am surprised that they molded it. I don't know if it'll show on camera. But they actually did mold the inside of that torso, which is kind of interesting. Um, and of course, you can have the blasters on the shoulders, like I showed before, kind of like a, a seeker, or... You can also plug them under the wings, which uh, it looks all right. They're hanging a little low, but it looks all right. Or if you want to be completely ridiculous, you can also just plug them up on top of the cockpit like that. And actually that looks just half decent. Um, if you want, you can always just flip them around for storage. 
that way they don't pose really weird. But uh, yeah, it's it's a decent jet mode. And then uh, just to show that it does scale with Voyager jet modes, here he is with uh, the last night of Voyager Megatron, who is a uh, as you can see on a uh, model stand. I mean, yeah, he, he scales fairly well. Let me pop this off my stand. You see, he scales fairly well. They, uh, they're roughly equivalent in size for jet modes. I would say that arguably this is a better jet, but jet fire, for the price you're paying, and for the simplicity of the robot, it's pretty good. And uh, honestly, I kind of wish I had a more advanced version of Jetfire, or at least a more uh, a more fancy version of Jetfire. But you know what? This is good for the price of a deluxe. I'm I'm happy with it. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and this has been Cyber Battalion Jetfire.